I hope everyone's enjoyed the dry skies that most of us have had so far this weekend. However, there has been a cluster of storms that has now turned to more of a broken line of storms pushing through the northeastern communities this evening. But knock on some wood, fingers crossed, we have not had any severe storms yet today, despite there being just a marginal risk for severe weather on your Sunday. Heading into Monday, we do have a little bit to talk about um, as far as storms goes, higher coverage of storms, and again, the potential for severe weather. It is on the lower side, but slightly higher than today for some. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at how hot it got today. I mentioned yesterday that um, our cloud cover would have a big impact on how our temperatures played out. And we did actually turn up the heat a bit with um, a little more sunshine through the afternoon. We saw breaks in the clouds. Looking at that, we were looking for the potential of adding juice to those storms, which could have eventually turned them severe. However, with some dry air in place, we've only got humidity, I think, in the 55 to 60 percent range right now. Yeah, there's a look at that. So see how near Columbus up towards our western communities here? It's a little bit drier, that, that more brown strip you see. That dry slot is what we call it, is inhibiting some of those storms. So that's a good thing for us if we were looking to get outside today. As far as satellite and radar goes, right now I mentioned a line of showers and storms pushing through our northeastern communities. Let's go ahead and clear that out and show you where that's at at the moment. So again, no severe weather at the moment. Um, as far as the potential for this to turn severe, haven't seen anything too threatening within it. So unless it gets some sort of big boost within the atmosphere, we should be good to go. But let's go ahead and take a look here at a different product to show you how many we can get lightning strikes on here um, to show you kind of where those thunderstorms are at the moment. So let's go ahead and pause it and take a look a little bit closer to home here. So Cortland, Youngstown, the red are those expired lightning strikes, meaning they happened a little while ago. So we're not seeing a ton of new lightning strikes, which sometimes can indicate, well, it does indicate strengthening of a storm. So it is pretty wet from Columbiana County to Youngstown and up towards Cortland. You guys are still hearing thunderstorms. Same for Jaga County there, just south of Route 322 near Parkman. So those are where our storms are at the moment. And then we've got another little cluster there over by Putin Bay and then a couple more kind of through central Lake Erie and then a small little line of showers along the Sandusky area as well. So nothing too threatening over that way. So that's just a look at how things are sitting at the moment. Let's go ahead and see how the rest of the night plays out for you. So models have had a bit of a tough time handling this system. I want to go ahead and see if I can pull up a different product here for us. And go through the hour by hour. See how this is a little broad? but you can see those isolated showers. So through the six, seven o'clock hour, we may see another thunderstorm or two near the Cleveland area, but then overnight things begin to dry out. So I'm gonna head back to this other one. It shows us temperatures. So what is this all to say? Well, you're still not out of the woods, uh, not out of the woods when it comes to a shower or storm this evening, mainly Cleveland and east, and then over the water, so the islands. West, you guys might see a light shower. Tomorrow heading to work, you should be dry for the morning commute. Temperature's a little on the warm side. Again, lots of heat and humidity. Coverage of showers and storms tomorrow will be higher. Some rain showers early. Afternoon, we start to pick up that storm threat. And then evening, our drive home from work tomorrow could be holding an isolated shower or storm that could be a little gusty with some brief downpours. Once that wraps up and that low pressure exits east, we'll be left with a few isolated showers Tuesday morning, but then by the afternoon, we'll get some sunshine. It'll be a little warmer. Well, temperature's cooler than tomorrow, but upper 70s and a little less humidity as well. And then looking at the next seven days here, our weekly rain chances, tomorrow will be the big one. We have another shot Thursday, pretty isolated it looks at this point, and then same for Saturday. So if you were looking for your Sunday evening plans, We've got a mix of storms and sun. Just all depends on where you are. And the Fox 8 weather app is always a really good tool to have handy if you were wanting to get outside, but you didn't know, you didn't want to run into any rain showers. Um, I believe we have radar on there for you. So Monday's severe outlook, we are Cleveland area up towards Ashtabula and a marginal risk, which is one on a scale of five. Slight risk is just a touch higher, two on a scale of five in those southeastern communities. So. Um, probably Tuscarawas, Columbiana, Holmes County, as well as Mahoning County and part of Trumbull County. 
head further west and your threat is a little less. Um, it's where that frontal boundary will be converging as it, as it pushes through tomorrow evening. So you might still see a general thunderstorm west, um, but it's not ruled, not ruled out for any of us really to see kind of a gusty thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon and evening. A look at the next eight days, no big temperature swings. Tomorrow will be the wettest of the eight day forecast. Tuesday, those isolated showers would be early. Back half of the day looks much better. Overnight lows pretty steadily in the low 60s. So no big, you know, window open nights. Dew points will be lower on Tuesday and Wednesday as well. And then we have another chance at some spotty showers and storms on Tuesday. Of course, ahead of that, we'll pick up the heat and humidity. So if I didn't cover something that you were wondering about, drop a comment in there. I will do my best to answer. And it, you can actually tune in here in about an hour and a half. We do have a six o'clock today. You can uh, watch me then and I'll have any updates that I make to the forecast there as well. Take care.